Today we're talking about Georgetown, Texas. We're gonna show you guys a little bit about what it's like to live here, the scenery, things to do, so stay tuned. Hey guys and gals, my name is Frank. I'm part of the team at the award-winning JB Goodwin Brokerage right here in Austin, Texas. I'm with one of my teammates today. His name is Caleb Reitmer, one of the best agents I've ever met. We do so many videos on a weekly basis of what it's like to work, eat, sleep, lift, play in Austin, Texas and its surrounding suburbs. So be sure to subscribe to our channel for more. Tap the little like button as it helps us grow and make more content for you guys. Be sure to comment down below if you have any questions, if you have ideas for future vlog tours that you want us to cover. If you agree with us, if you disagree with us, we'd love to get involved and chat with you guys. We get reach outs all the time from people moving here who are considering relocating here. We absolutely love it. So any time of day, whether it's during the week or on the weekends, you got to reach out. We've got your back when moving to Austin, Texas. So today, oh, sh cut. <laughs> In this week's vlog tour, we are hitting Georgetown, Texas. That is Caleb Reitmer. Yes, sir. So why are people moving to Georgetown, Texas? People are moving to Georgetown to get away from the Austin city life. Um, it's busy, um, congested, the neighborhoods are tight. Uh, this, you get a little bit more land, bang for your buck. It's a slower paced life, <laughs> less traffic. There's a great university in town, so, and there's a great, downtown Georgetown's awesome. They've got a lot of festivals. The Red Poppy Festival is one of my favorites. Um, you know, it's a growing city. It's, I think in 2018 or 19, it was number one city in the country to start a business. So if you're a business owner, come to Georgetown. There we go. There's a pretty good spread of house prices. So you can get houses uh, in between the two and three hundreds, and you can get house prices, um, Cimarron Hills, uh, with one of the nicest golf courses uh, in the Georgetown, Austin area, and nicest neighborhoods. I mean, you can get in the millions, right? Two to five million, and you can get anywhere from, anywhere in between there. You've got Berry Creek, which is anywhere in the four or five and six hundred thousand. Um, also has a golf course and great little tennis facility. Um, but yeah, as far as home prices go, it's pretty flexible and uh, you can find what you want. Thanks, Caleb. Well, you got Southwestern University and a Southwestern University grad right hey. here myself, economics major, a fantastic school. It was actually, when I went there, it was the number two school in Texas. I think now, I think they've dropped a little bit since they added the football team, which dropped the GPA a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I still think they're top 10, uh, but they were number two behind Rice, so fantastic education. Um, it's a liberal arts school. And there's only about 15 to 2,000 people at the school, so your student to teacher population ratio is pretty good. So where are we right now, Caleb? Right now we're at Blue Hole in Georgetown. It's a nice little park. Uh, you can bring your dogs, your kids, um, have a little picnic out here. Uh, we've got some, you can get in the water. We've got some little small cliffs over there you can jump off of if you're adrenaline junkie, like myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a nice little hangout spot. Uh, a lot of the college kids come out here and hang out, but it's a good, it's a good time. So this is the small cliffs over here where people jump off of. And if you walk further down, 
over here where that tree is, a little plateau. You can jump off of that one if you're brave. And if you're really brave, you jump off the big rock behind that and you jump over the cliff <laughs> into the water. Oh. And it puts a little sting in your feet. So right now we are at Brookwood in Georgetown and it is a nonprofit community for adults with special needs who get out of the public school systems and they have nothing for them to do aside maybe bagging groceries. And so this is an amazing community that really cares about its citizens and it puts them to work. There's pottery, there's a greenhouse, they do all kinds of activities and they get paid for it. I'm proud to say that my older brother is a citizen here. He has autism and epilepsy, we love him to pieces. And my angel of a mother works here in inventory, so it's a nice place for our family. Uh, and I love it with all my heart. And it's a beautiful slice of Georgetown. So where are we now, Caleb? All right, right now we are in Shady Oaks neighborhood up in the north side of Georgetown. This neighborhood is awesome. You got one acre lots um, is the minimum. Some of them are one and a half acres, but it's a fantastic neighborhood, a lot of space. This is what you get in Georgetown. You get a little bit more space. It's not as crowded. Um, and the houses are actually, I mean, they're pretty big here in between three to 5,000 square feet. So uh, they're on the bigger side of houses and the price point is honestly really good. I would say right now in the market, you're looking in between 500 to 700 K um, for these houses with, with, with an acre. So um, it's, a, it's a great place. And I actually sold one down on the corner over here and I got them over $85,000 off the asking price. So if you're looking for a killer agent, get you the best price, mm -hmm. hit me up. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's a fantastic neighborhood, a lot of trees if you like the growth and the established feel of the neighborhood. It's not like a brand new neighborhood with you know little, little sticks in your front yard, right? Um, a lot of trees, uh, big roads. You don't have people parking on the sides because all the driveways are either uh, a loop around or they, it's a long driveway into the garage. And can you hear that? You can't, because it's exactly. quiet. Okay. Yeah, it's at Georgetown for you, right? <laughs> um, and I think all these, uh, all of these at least have a three-car garage, which is also great if you're, you know, if you have your cars and you want to keep them safe. Um, but yeah, it's a good place. So Georgetown is a quiet place. It's a beautiful place. You're pretty far removed from downtown. I'd say about 30, 40 minutes. But you know, with the toll roads, with the freeways, you can get there pretty easily. Nice new shops, nice new neighborhoods, but a little bit secluded, like like tucked away from all the busyness of, of the city of Austin. If you're wanting something downtown, if you're wanting something more suburban or everything in between, you gotta reach out to us. Days, nights, or weekends, email us, call us, text us. We've got your back when moving to Austin, Texas. So that was a little taste of Georgetown. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not, but what we love to do is help people find the right areas for their jobs, the right commutes for their jobs, the right places for their lifestyle, the right school districts for their kids. So if you have an idea of where you'd like to move or you need some guidance, reach out to us, we've got your back. Be sure to comment down below, like the video, be sure to subscribe for more. And until the next one, you guys, we'll catch you later. Comment down below, let us know if you like some, no, oh, my God. <laughs> Seriously, it's my life now. This is my life now. Dude, you need like a compilation of oh, <laughs> bloopers. My damn bloopers. Okay, um, be sure to comment. Oh, damn it, truck. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh my god, I'm cracking. I can watch that for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right.
I'll just leave it rolling. I might, I might put some of this out, it's like outtakes. Sometimes I do that in videos now. Yeah.